What's going on out there guys? It's Roll Easy here and I'm back with a dope video for you guys. We have the apartments transfer glitch for a money glitch as well as the director mode outfits transfer glitch with full SP to MP, okay? So shout out to Mr. Glitches GTA for finding this and giving us the correct steps for this. And uh, yeah, and then I kind of translated this, you know, with the help of some friends and we moved it to get some Xbox steps as well. Okay, so now we got PS4 and Xbox steps and I'll go over both in this video. So what you need is if you're making modded outfits, you got to have components on one character to move to the other. I'm going to go ahead and leave a link to the components list down in the description. And uh, if you don't want to lose any outfits, I recommend you transfer your main character's outfits over to your second character's outfits like you're going to see me do in this video. Now, for the money glitch, you need about three and a half million dollars to get started to actually buy all the apartments. And obviously you need two characters, guys. I recommend a male and a female character to do this glitch. PlayStation, you guys need a recent activity ready. Xbox One, you guys need a friend in another targeting mode, okay? So, now let's get started. Basically, if you want to set up for the money glitch, go to your main character and you want to go ahead and select the Dynasty 8 website and once you're at the website you want to buy the most expensive apartments in slots 4, 5, and 6, alright? The most expensive apartments are the Eclipse Penthouse Suites right there, uh, Suite 3, 2, and 1. You want to put those in slots 4, 5, and 6 like you see me do right there. The most expensive ones. We're trying to make the max amount of money possible through this glitch, okay? So, once you've done that, you also want to clean up your outfits. Now, we're going to be doing merge glitches later with this. So if you don't want to lose any of your outfits or any of your components and you want them to transfer safely, what you want to do on your merged outfits is, you know, pretty much take off all of the accessories. All right. If you have merge gloves like I do, you can leave the merge gloves on those transfer duffel bags also transfer as far as I know they did before. I'm going to be testing that now. But what you do want to take off is any headgear, so glasses, masks, helmets, anything like that, along with body armor. You don't want body armor and you don't want any headgear on. So all I'm doing right here is I'm actually going over to like the glasses. I'm just going to put on a pair of glasses and you see it takes off all that stuff. Okay, so make sure you're taking off all the headgear, you take off the body armor and you go ahead and save it. All right, so that's what you want to do when getting to this part. Um, now, at this point, if we're doing it this way, guys, you will not lose any of your outfits if you do it like this, okay? You want them to transfer over there safely. Now, if you have an outfit like this, like the Trash Man, they, uh, with a duffel bag on it, they've made it so that if you edit anything on the top, well, it's always been like this, but if you edit anything on it like that, it's going to go ahead and delete the main parts of the outfit. Also, we can't just put on a rebreather on it anymore because the duffel bag is on there if you have that as well. So if you have this problem with an outfit like this, just go to your apartment. Now go into your garage. Once you go into your garage, what's going to happen is the, the headgear will automatically come off. OK, so check it out. The headgear comes off and we still have the duffel bag on the outfit. OK, so now just simply go back into your apartment. And once you go back into your apartment, as you see me doing right here, Everything will still be normal, your headgear will be off, and your duffel bag will be there, and the trash man outfit and everything. So just go ahead and save it like this, okay? So make sure you clean up all your outfits before you do this glitch. Now, once you've set up everything on the main character, you want to go ahead and swap to your second character, all right? I'm going male to female, all right? With, like I know a lot of you do, okay? So now, once I'm over on the, uh, you know, the mugshot room, I'm going to go ahead and select on my second character, which is the female. All right. Once I'm on my female character, it's going to load me down into a public session. And then you want to set up your second character, in this case, our female. OK, so I'm just waiting to get spawned down here. Once you're spawned down here, you have a few things. You really you just have to set it up for the money glitch, really. So. Once you're on your second character, what you want to do is go over to Dynasty 8 again and you want to buy the three cheapest properties in slots 4, 5, and 6, okay? So as you can see right here, uh, I already have the three cheapest properties, Grapeseed, Polito, and Popular Street. Those are the three cheapest properties you can buy and I've put them in slots 4, 5, and 6. What's going to happen when we do this glitch are the apartment you know, prices from the main character are going to move on to over here, all right? And then we can make money off of that. So go ahead at this point and leave GTA Online. I actually recommend you going ahead and dashboarding the game and then load back into story mode like you see me do right here. All right, so now I'm back in story mode. Make sure if you're using a game save, don't use the game save from minor turbulence or anything like that, like for the old glitch. Use a game save from before that or after that. Okay, so now I've shown you on the map the peyote that we're going to be eating in this tutorial. Uh, you can eat any peyote, but this is the one that I went ahead and went for. Now, 
as any SP character that you want, you can go ahead and go and eat the peyote. If the peyote's not there, it's because you ate it already, guys. So you need to go find another one. I'll leave a link down in the description as well to all the peyote locations for everybody. All right, so now what you want to do is that's the peyote right there we're going to be eating. All you got to do is hit right D-pad to actually eat that stuff. Next, what you want to do, and I'll leave, you know, the cheats down in the pinned comment and the description as well. You need the cheats to get the wanted level, all right, in story mode. So I'll leave play, uh, PS4 and Xbox cheats. So every time you activate the cheat, you're going to get one star. I recommend doing the cheat three times so that you can get a max, you know, amount of three stars. You can get four or five if you want. But I want to give everybody ample time to actually get everything set up to not have to rush, all right? If you get really good at this and you want more stars, go ahead. So check it out. I got three stars. The cops are already going to start shooting at me. So check it out. I'm actually going to start getting shot as Trevor. And then when I'm starting to get shot, just like that, I'm going to go ahead and hit right D-pad and eat the peyote. All right, so he's going to eat the peyote. He's going to go into the hallucination. Whatever animal you are now, you want to go ahead and just run towards the cops. You want to get killed as this animal. Now, PlayStation, get your recent activity ready. Xbox, we need that friend ready in a different targeting mode. So I'm checking right now. I go to my, you know, my settings, control, and targeting mode is in assisted aim because I have a friend in free aim that I'm going to be joining. Okay, so Xbox, we need a friend in a different targeting mode. PlayStation, make sure you got your recent activity ready. So the cops are approaching now. They're going to be killing me soon. So I want to go ahead and spam on join game when I'm on, you know, when I'm getting ready. So check it out. I spam on join game. I get the first alert. I accept it. Sit on the second alert. Okay. PlayStation, just get your recent activity ready. On Xbox, you can keep pressing the Xbox home button to see what's going on. You can also listen. Okay. So I'm actually going to turn down the music and stuff so that you guys can hear what's happening here. All right. So check it out. Boom. The dog died. Go ahead and accept that second alert Xbox and immediately go to your network settings and hit go offline and then spam B to come back and hit B on that menu also and you'll get a white screen just like this. PlayStation, right when you guys die, and you can accept that alert by the way Xbox, but PlayStation, right when you guys die as that, you know, as that character, you want to go ahead and activate your recent activity and accept the alert. And then you also will disconnect, just like we did there. All right, so just Man, it's just a substitution. It's targeting mode for recent that activity. Day. That's all it is. Okay, everything else is exactly the same. So once you spawn back down as your story mode character, you're gonna be on a white screen. If you want to see what's going on, you can still move and stuff. Just hit pause, and you can actually see where you are. All right, just like that. So PlayStation and Xbox, what you want to do now is go back to your settings and hit go online. All right, just reconnect everything back up to the internet as normal. All right, so go back to GTA. Now we're still back down as a story mode character. Okay, so what you want to do now is activate that cheat again. Activate that wanted level cheat, and you want to just get one star. That's all you need, guys. You just need one star, and that's it. So once you get the one star, right now I'm just waiting here. I've activated the cheat, and you can just keep pressing pause so that you can see what's going on so you're not just stuck in the white screen the whole time. I know the cops are coming, I can hear them. Turn your volume up at this point, you know, if you really need to. And so check it out, right here, I'm pressing pause and I'm gonna look and I can see that the cops are approaching. The cops are right there, so they're gonna be arresting me soon. I have one star. So I'm gonna go ahead and I was just checking that my friend is still in that session. Now, Xbox, we need to go ahead and change our targeting mode again because we accepted that alert last time. So we're now in the same targeting mode as that friend. So if you're using the same friend, you got to redo your targeting mode again. So I went back into assisted aim because my friend's in free aim. Okay, so now I'm going to spam on join game on my friend. Once I've spammed on join game, I should get a loading icon, a save icon in the bottom right. And then an alert should pop up. Accept the first alert and sit on the second alert, Xbox guys. Okay, so I see I accepted the first one. I'm sitting on the second one. PlayStation, remember you guys are just getting a recent activity ready. So now just listen until we get busted, okay? Boom, we just got busted. Xbox, accept that alert immediately. PlayStation, you are going straight to that recent activity and you're accepting it, all right? And now we're both going online. Just like that, guys. Just like that, okay? So we're at this point now and we're gonna go ahead and spawn online now as a story mode character. So as you can see, I can just hit down on the D-pad and I have my money in the top right. In the top left, you see I'm in GTA Online in a friends only session where I had where my second character or my, my friend was at, Rogue. So there we go. You're online, you've done the full SP to MP, just like that. Okay? So you can't eat that same peyote that you just ate, you know, in story mode. So you actually have to go to a different location. Like I said, go to the pinned comment or the description for the link 
to actually check out the other peyote locations all right so you need to go to a different one i went over to this one in the southern part of uh, southern you know los santos this is the los santos customs in the south right by the airport that's the location right there so i'm gonna go ahead and eat this peyote right here now when i go to eat this peyote uh, what you want to do first is go ahead and press pause and make sure that vibration is set to on for your controller So go to settings controls and turn vibration on all right You want to be able to feel it so that you know it actually did work. Okay, so walk over the peyote hit right d-pad You're not gonna get the animation. You're not gonna see any weird stuff happen You just want to you know, you're gonna feel that vibration once you feel the vibration, you know, it's worked Walk away for a second go ahead and hit pause go to the online tab and you want to just hit on swap character now, remember how our last character was the second one online. Our second character was the last one we had online. That's important because now we're going to go ahead and switch over to the male character, our main one, because we want the main apartments, you know, the expensive ones and these outfits to transfer over to our second character so we don't lose anything and we can make money. All right. So now you just wait here until it says that you've timed out locating session. That's a good thing. This is what you want to see. Accept that alert. All right. So now once you've accepted that alert, you will be frozen here in the clouds, okay? The clouds are frozen. You want to wait for them to unfreeze, okay? Once they've unfrozen, then you can go ahead and proceed with the glitch. So check it out. They've unfrozen now. You know, we got the, we got the quitting session. We're good. You can dashboard your game and quit out. Xbox and PlayStation, you're both quitting out. PlayStation, go ahead and start your game up right away. Xbox, what we got to do is go ahead and hit manage game, go to save data, go over to your gamer tag and hit delete from console, not delete from everywhere, delete from console only. Okay, so go back to GTA and now start it up. PlayStation, you're here with us. Now, Xbox, we're going to get this right here. Okay, we get this syncing, cancel it and then stop the sync. Good. PlayStation, once you're at this point, hold L1 and R1 until you get the display calibration and the girl with the peace sign. Okay, so we're both going to get this right now at this point. All right, we're both going to get display calibration coming up real soon here. Now, check it out. Display calibration. Go ahead and accept that. PlayStation, you guys can let go of L1 and R1 now. And you're going to go ahead and load into story mode. And you can actually fast forward the video till we're till I'm online or till I'm, you know, Trevor in story mode. Okay. But for everybody on Xbox that loads into the prologue like I do every single time, you need to go ahead and quit out of the game once you're in the prologue. Just like this. All right. Start the game back up. Once you started the game back up, we're just going to be waiting and it's going to ask you where do you want to sync from? You want to sync from this console, all right? Not from Xbox Live, hit sync from this console and you're going to let it fully sync, okay? And you're going to let the game start back up all the way again, okay? So, once we're at this point right here, now we're online as Trevor, PlayStation, Xbox, we're all together. Go ahead and go to the online tab, hit play GTA Online and invite only session. Once you've done that, you're going to both, you know, accept the game, you know, the game's online policies. Hit that check mark and accept it. We're going to be loading into online now. Okay, so remember our last character was the second character. All the outfits now from my male character have transferred over to this one. And guess what? So have the apartment uh, prices. So this is where we make our money. So go ahead and go to Dynasty 8. Go over to the cheapest properties you can buy. Hit buy on them. Hit purchase. And check it out. I have the cheap names with the expensive prices. This is how we make the money. So buy it over slot 4, 5, and 6. So I'm going to buy the first one right over slot four right here and look at what I get in the top right. Five hundred and twenty four thousand dollars. Now you want to go ahead and purchase another cheap one. Put it over slot five. I get four hundred and twenty five thousand dollars. Now you want to buy another cheap one and put it over slot six. Now I go ahead and I get four hundred and sixty six thousand dollars. And that's how you do the glitch, guys. You get a million and a half dollars every time you do this, along with all the cool modded outfits and stuff that you can get. All right, more tutorials on this on this to come, especially for the outfits. I just wanted to show you how to do the main part of the glitch. Uh, that's going to be it for me, guys. My name is Roll Easy. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe by hitting that big red button. Turn on post notifications and drop a fat like down on this video for the freshest and the most informative dope GTA 5 online content. Peace out, everybody.